That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a shirt from a show that never happened. Don't you love those? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmazano here. Welcome back to the channel. So, back on my subscriber reacts request page, and I'm gonna do something random that I just never do. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down, and if you guys are new here, this is how I pick the next videos. These are the people that take my lessons on my website, Guitargate, um, and as a thank you, I let them pick the next stuff that comes on YouTube usually. I'm gonna go down to the bottom. Man, I'm just gonna hit a random number. You guys think I never go back. I go back, I go back. Ooh, Davey Knowles, gotta leave. That dude's bad. Um, Alan Stone. Oh, man, Blackberry Smoke. We could definitely do another Blackberry Smoke. Green Belly Ray. Ah, oh, man, that's a... So you got all kinds of good stuff. See, look, I reacted to this one. That's Etta James. Um, <laughs> huh, huh. Children of Bodom hate me. And now look, this little this little thing here, see this little? That means someone's that means that Matt here is a is a lifetime member. Um uh Matty Numelin plays a strat in SG, says a little over a year from Alexi Lejo's death, who is regarded by many as the best finished heavy guitarist. I thought it would be appropriate to request a react for this one. All right, I'm gonna do it for you, even though I have my, my silver sky here. Um, doesn't matter. Maybe I'll put some heavy sound on. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Look at this. Let's, 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 no, you know what? No, you get what you get. You get what you get. Deal with it. How's that make you feel? How's it make you feel? Press the button. Ice cold. <laughs> Give it to me. Dude, it's such, it's such a, uh, um, uh, I don't know where they're from, I don't know where they're from, okay? I've, I've heard of Children of Bodom, right? Um, such a, it's like a Slayer meets Sepultura Eastern European vibe. I don't know, I don't know. Um, let me get some of this. Let me make an attempt to get some of this. Um, what I'm hearing so far, uh, is... Uh, not so much like some crazy riff that's happening. Um, and of course, the, the musicianship is super tight, but it sounds like uh, pretty accessible progressions that are happening. So check this out. Now, it sounded before like we were in D. I'm not going to drop because, again, you get what you get. So I'm going to guess... So... It sounds like, you know, you're getting this, uh. Okay, you definitely have a D sharp, and it sounds like a D. It can't just be unison. Anyway, it's not unison, but that, we're, you know, we're coming in on D, at least what it sounded like before, but we're clearly got that D sharp, it's like that flat nine thing happening that, that. Yeah, 
again. Again. <laughs> Sounds like that. Here's D. Then. Like D sharp, half step above. Ridiculous. And then you come in that the that that uh, 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 coming in on D. So you got that you're chugging on D, but that you got that that oh sorry that D sharp right above it, that flat nine Phrygian nonsense. Let's go. So let me know if you hear this. It's it's clearly two chords. Right? So it sounds like root D flat six B flat, right? Something like that. I love that. We're not going to waste our time getting it note for note. The broad strokes, the point here is that you got D minor, flat three, nine, root, flat seven, fifth, right? Over D. And then when it goes to B flat, what do you have here? B flat major is what's in key. So you still expect to have a D natural in there as your major third, which we do. So all these little licks work because this this the root and flat three of D minor are the major third and fifth of B flat major so the only thing you really got to watch out for is if you actually go to a B flat which you don't have to do because you're already getting the tonality because the third sets the tonality but that's that's kind of what's coming across here that's one two, 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 flat six one flat six So again, we're 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 just we're chugging on D. You just keep it, and then you start walking down. Flat seven, C, B flat, flat six. That's your move. And then run, run, run. But in drop D, so you're getting you know flat three, two. I want it to flat nine here instead of instead of flat three. I don't know. It's the inner dime bag talking. You hear it? It's like a Tom Araya, um, what's the Sepultura guy's name? Max Cavalera, like combo with the vocals, but with like an Eastern European flair. I dig it. I, I want to go to a show like this. Love that, two Chinas. Everything is 
little triplet, 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 triplet over all that. Wait, what's that? It's like C G C. You hear that 5-1 cadence over and over again, and it clearly brightens up. Like you hear that it's, it's, it's modulating to what sounds like a major tonality. Um, that's what's important to pay attention to. And when you go and you spend the time, not just watching this video, to figure all that stuff out, um, that's going to be your intent. Like It's clear that what we're hearing in here is incredibly precise metal musicianship but with a commitment to um uh progressions that what's the word i'm looking for uh that a lot of people will get that a lot of people are into it's not it's not like your typical metal type of vibe where it's just heavy riff after heavy riff that's note for note like that's happening but it's happening in the form of a progression right that's clearly in a minor tonality, then it clearly goes to a, 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 a major tonality. It sounds like it drops down from C to G, that 5-1 cadence, or 1-5, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then it goes back up. Like It's, it's very purposeful that it's a, it's a um, what is it, palatable? I can't think of it. But it's a progression. It's based on a progression that lots of people like. Like right there, and so it moves. Right, it's 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 a repeating four chord progression and a cadence that locks in, that lots of people will like. It's a very, what is the word? Doesn't matter. We got to move on. There's keyboards up top. Oh my god, matching it with the, with the bar going down. I know it's starting to start. What was that? 
like, was that a YouTube skip? Yes, that's a YouTube skip. Okay, going. So we're gonna go straight into a Pantera power groove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's that flat nine. I knew it, knew it was coming. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, let me let me let me just say this. I know I'm starting to stopping a lot. I know a lot of you out there are freaking out. In these halftime grooves like this. That's called halftime. In these in these Pantera-esque power grooves, okay? And you're in a, a two guitar situation, two guitar and keys. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I wanna be the rhythm guitar player chugging in the back, right? Listen to the two different guitar parts. The one guy in the back, right? That is the best job you can have as an electric guitar player. That's, that's, that's the drugs and the money, as we used to say. Listen for it. Okay, soloing over here, just like before in the uh, verse, if you want to call it that, uh, you're alternating between B, uh, sorry, D and B flat. Okay, uh, D minor, B flat major, uh, both in the same key. So really, um, you know, what you're, what you're, what you're gonna do. I don't want to say what you should do. Let's just watch and see if we can get a little of what he does. But you can, you clearly, he's got some sweeps. He's got some clear arpeggio things happening where it's clear that he's spelling out the differences in the chords, especially the major tonality of the B flat. Uh, in this style, usually you, you see people or hear them just burn across in, uh, in a, uh, in like a key centered approach, right? Like it's, it's oh yeah, this is D Aeolian or B flat Lydian, right? And and I'm just gonna across. Uh, it's very clear uh, that he's anchoring with these arpeggio skeletons to really bring out this major verse minor tonality, and they're not relative majors and minors, right? They're they're it's it's again it's it's Lydian versus Aeolian. Um, as opposed to, um, you know, uh, like your tonic, like your one uh, versus your six. It's your six versus your four. Um, but the thirds and the fifths, it's the same. Anyway, let's see what let's see if we can pick some out. So we're starting with our flat six chord, right? That it. Now he's got. Opening the wall. No, wait a second. Is he really? Now you can clearly hear B flat is the name of the game here. But he's coming in a half step below it, okay? That's that major seventh of B flat. Now, this of course is A, which is the fifth 
of D minor, right? Or D major, whatever, just the fifth of D. But interesting choice, okay? So what's the other note we're doing as we as we open the gate of the wasp? That I think he's just A and B flat. Hold on one sec. I'm just making sure my DSLR isn't shut off. They stop at 30, but it's a good barometer. <sighs> okay. Yeah, that. Right, right, right. It's, it's a... Point is, point is, we're in. D minor, like straight up D minor. One, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, okay? So, so you're grabbing everything up through here, wherever it goes, I'm assuming we're gonna stay in there. But we're just gonna accentuate that kind of B flatness, you know, when that comes through, but which is interesting because D is still going to be the third of that. So you can keep that kind of D tonic center and just go across it. Clearly I'm not well versed in this style, clearly. Like that. Like that, I really hear that upper B flat, and I don't have the fret. Uh, the, the. He's just he's just muscling through there, man. I love it. Okay, anyway, I obviously got beat up there pretty good. Um, this is not my... <laughs> I'm not used to soloing like that. Um, point is, point is, okay? You have your scale, but it's clearly with this chord, it's one to a flat six, one to a flat six. One is minor, flat six is major. Sell it, right? You're clearly choosing to do so um, in an extremely aggressive way. Same motif at the beginning. Okay, okay. Best part of the song is for last. Okay, I, 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 here's what I'll say. This is really well thought out and crafted. I think for people who don't listen to this type of music enough, aren't paying attention to how purposeful and how crafted all these different parts are. Every single piece of the song that had happened before gets reiterated in the last 45 seconds or whatever it is. Every little earworm, the halftime groove, the you know, that half step up, every piece of it, okay? So it's like, and it's almost in order. So like it gets introduced, it, it comes back, they move it around, and then it, these little metal hooks, these pieces are placed right at the end to take you through it, to give you that thing to carry on to, right, to, to, to hold on to, like when you're in the car on the way home. And it's a memorable piece because it's been done over and over again. Check this out, check this out. 
So we come out of the lead. We come out of the lead. Where do we go to? Pre-chorus, maybe? But we did this, right? 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 This was the intro hook. Like, here we go. What, what did we call this? Did we call this the chorus or post-chorus or whatever? Again, we modulated. We're introducing it again. So we've now done three of the four basic parts. And then there's the part. There's that Pantera power groove, right? There's that fourth section with the way they start the song, that half step up, D sharp when the groove's in, in D, all together. If, if you think bands like this don't do this stuff on purpose, right, you're missing the whole point. There is clearly, clearly an emphasis on a memorable progression that is accessible to a lot of people, right? That you find in many different genres. You clearly modulate within that relative key, okay? So D minor to B flat, you know, that's your flat six. If So one to a flat six, or you can think of it as six to a four in the key. Then it goes back, like you have C, you have your other ones in there. So it mixes major and minor in key. It's purposeful. You have the little hooks, the wah, 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 wah. you got the breakdown, the halftime grooves, you bring it all together. It's a puzzle that was put together on purpose, right? There's a formula to this. You guys know I have a series on this channel called the Hit Song Formula, and that's why I pay attention to this so much, because if you, if you listen to it and you really digest it, you can use it to make your own stuff. So anyway, that's it. Who, who gave this to me? Maddie, Matai from Finland. Dude, thanks for taking the lessons and courses and supporting me in this channel and everybody else on here. You make it all possible. Really appreciate you. Everybody watching here on YouTube, please like, please subscribe. You can tell the vibe is different here. We do it live. We focus on learning something, not just make faces at videos. Um, and if you're interested in a community that helps you pick this up every day, just get a little bit better, find new music to keep you motivated, inspired. I hope you'll do like Maddie. Click the first link in the description. It's called Guitargate. I'd love to be one of your online resources. Have a great day. Bam.